And they said that red flag You're right there. You're recording inmates. No, you need to leave. I was recording the red flag. No, you need to leave. Inmates might be Why back are you there. recording a red flag? And they said. Who are you? I don't need to tell you who I am. Okay, then you need to leave. No, I don't. Yeah. Or no trespassing. You can quit turning that towards me, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't want Excuse you to turn that towards me. And this is my property. Did you just touch my property? No, I didn't touch you. It. Did. I you did. You touched it. You moved. Let me see your ID. No, sir. Yeah. No. If you turn that towards me again. Hey, folks. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the important topics of individual rights and community well-being. Today, we're going to explore a specific scenario involving law enforcement in public spaces, sparking a conversation about where our rights stand, the impact on the community, and how we can find a balance between personal freedoms and collective well-being. Join us as we unravel this scenario, shedding light on the dynamics between individual rights and the greater good. Here's our red flag. There's no signage, no nothing. Or can I just walk up and on it? What's up, man? Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, just doing a little photography, if I can talk, from from myself. Okay. Well, this is kind of a restricted area back here. Do you do you work here? Or? Well, I don't work here, no, sir. Okay. What do you mean it's restricted? Well, this is our firing range. Sure. So, so sure, it's not sure. just open to the public. It's not? No. Okay. All right. That's good. But it is county property? It is county property, yep. So we're sat on the other side of the fence there. Sure, sure, sure. But okay. that's fenced off. So that's yeah. definitely a yeah. restricted area. Yeah. So uh, where is the restricted signs? Or no trespassing? You can quit turning that towards me, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't want you Excuse to turn that me? towards me. And this is my property. Did you just touch my property? No, I didn't touch you it. Did. I you did. You touched it. You moved it. You need to leave. It's on camera, homie. Let me, hey, um, let me see your ID. No, sir. Yeah. No. Yeah, let no. me see your ID. Who are you? Why are you here? I just here? told you who Why I am. are you here? I just told you. Why are you here videotaping inmates? Why are you here doing that? Those are inmates off there? You can't see them right there? Oh, I didn't see them before. Okay, no. you need no, to leave. No, actually, I was, I was... You need to leave. You and need you, to leave. And you are? My name is Brian Comstock. Brian Comstock. Do you yep. have a badge number? Yeah. Brian? Yeah. 223 two, three is two, my badge two, three. number. 223? Yep. You can go now. Why, Thank you. Why can I go? If you turn that towards me again, you need to leave. Man. I don't like you behind me, Brian. I don't like you. I don't like you pointing at me. You why not? Here. You need to leave right why, now. Why don't Let's you go. like me? Let's go. Why are you freaking you out? You don't like me. Why I are you was recording that go. flag right there. No, you're weeks. not. No, I was reporting that flag. If you just go over there to Washington County and ask them, I just called and I said, how do you know you can pass that sign? And they said that red flag You're right there. You're recording inmates. No, you need to leave. I was recording the red flag. No, you need to in leave. Inmates might be Why are you there. recording a red flag? Because I was explaining to my followers how you can walk this trail. And I just you, went you to Washington to County, into the Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm. and asked them, how do I know if I can pass that red sign? And they said... Who are you? I don't need to tell you who I am. Okay, then you need to leave. No, I don't. Yeah. I, I have no idea who you are. I don't care if you know who I am you or need not. To leave. No, sir. Yes, you no. need to leave. I'm recording that red flag so I can explain to my followers. Followers what? Explain to them what? How you walk the trail. That red flag has nothing to do with it. You can't see that. The trail is over there. You okay. can go to the trail. What's that red sign say right there? When the red flag is up. It doesn't say the red flag. Okay, what's it say? It says this trail is closed while working the... While the fire range while is in the operation. the fire is in operation. So okay. I went in there and said, hey, how do I know that the firing range is in operation? Hmm. They said, go find a red flag. So here I am finding hmm. the red flag. Okay. Why didn't you just knock on the door? Instead of just walking around back here gym. looking all suspicious this videotaping inmates. Range. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care what I videotape. Okay, let's go. Because this is not open to the public area. Are you going to trespass me? Do you want me to? Is that what you want to do? Do you want me to? Sure. 
Okay. Trespassing. Trespass. You right, need to leave. Me a, get me a you, written you, trespass. You need to leave. Give me a written trespass. Let's go. Please. No, I'll log it with dispatch. We don't give written trespass. Okay, I would like to see your office. supervisor since you touched me. He's over me. there. He's over there at the jail. I never touched you. You touched my possession. I didn't my touch you. I didn't it's touch on. You. It's on. Okay. Go it's over there and talk to my you supervisor. You turned my camera it's the so it went beyond you. You can go talk to him. No, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm not calling him over here. Okay. I'm going to sit right here and do my recording. Right now. So guys, I'm going to tow your truck. Guys, when this the red flag is up, you cannot pass the red sign, as I explained to you. Um, this Brian, what'd you say your last name was, Brian? Oh wow, man, professionalism, very professional. What are you doing, Brian? I'm looking at what's in public view. Yeah, you are. Yep. That's why I said I didn't say you were doing something illegal. I said, what are you doing? And I told you. Okay. All right. All right. You're really defensive, and I don't know why, man. You're defensive. I'm defensive. I explained exactly what I'm we, doing to you. We, we shown that on the license no. plate so everybody can see it's it's my it's not my license plate. Two nine P. Hey, it's not my license plate. So go ahead, go run it, Brian. Run it, Brian. Is this your truck, Brian? No. Neither of them are? No. Well, let's see here. 391YEU. The other one's getting red, too. AEW72E. How are you, ma'am? Hi. Good, how are you? Uh, can you tell Brian to come back out here? Yes, who are you? I'm a citizen of the city. Okay. I'm, What's I'm your supervisor's you. name? I'm, I'm, What's your sheriff? Sup I'm done talking it's to you. It's not the sheriff. Cameron, I'm done talking to you. I'm not Cameron. Okay. My name is I'm not Cameron. I'm done talking to you. Hey, right. what is your supervisor's name? What is your supervisor's name? The situation we're talking about is all about the right to take pictures and record videos in public places. This right is protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. The person claimed this right, and the response from the police department gives us a lot to think about within the legal and constitutional rules. Taking pictures and recording videos in public is a big part of expressing ourselves, and the law says it's okay, especially when it comes to filming public places and officials from places anyone can go. But this right has some limits, like when and where it can be done. The main question here is figuring out if what the person did was within these allowed limits, and if the responses from the officers were okay, considering concerns about security or privacy. The discussions about trespassing and operational obstruction bring up the tension between people having access to public places, and the need for services like the fire department to work without any problems. Trespassing laws usually mean going onto or staying on property without permission. And public spaces usually don't count unless there's a lawful restriction. Court decisions, like Gleek versus Cunefe, make it clear that people have a well-established right to film public officials in public places. But these rights need to be balanced with the government's interests, like keeping things secure and private, especially in sensitive situations. The challenge is figuring out if the government's response was just right, serving an important government interest without hurting constitutional rights too much. This situation shows how important it is to understand the difference between public and private spaces, where the rights to watch, record, and share information can be different. While public places are usually open for observation and documentation, the details of what's public and private can be tricky, especially when access might be restricted for safety or operational reasons. 
The interaction also reminds us how crucial good communication and conflict resolution strategies are. The person sticking to their rights, along with the concerns from the officers, shows a bigger challenge in society, finding the right balance between being watchful and keeping our freedom.